El Paso Coliseum, the 25th annual Spooktacular put on by the Junior Women's Club of El Paso. The two-day event features carnival rides outside and inside, games, candy, dance performances, and, of course, kids dressed up in their costumes. ABC 7's Alex Shrek was at the Coliseum, and he's live to tell us how it was. Alec, how was it? Looked like a blast, jam-packed with lots of kids and parents over there all having a lot of fun. Kind of takes you back to your own childhood. You never know who you'll meet at the Junior Women's Club of El Paso's 25th Annual Spooktacular. I'm in first grade and my name is Teresa. The rather tall first grader says her recipe for good stature. Woo! I eat healthy things. Shares a little in common with her method of mastering Halloween games. What's the secret? Um, um, you need practice? Good job. I want you to get lots of tickets. How many tickets did you win? With enough practice or good fortune, just like in real life, Seven. you can win a prize. High five, you get one more try. Clarissa seemed to have the games part of Spooktacular inside of the El Paso County Coliseum on lockdown, whether it was basketball, golf, or the beanbag in the face game. This precocious little girl whose favorite subject is science says the best part of Halloween isn't the scary stuff. You get candy and you get to dress up. Who can argue with that? Now, if you'd like to head over to the Coliseum, they're open tonight until 8, or you can wait until tomorrow between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. 